look at the role of social media and online communities in driving change in Africa. We caught up with Arthur Goldstuck, who enlightened us on the power of social media on the continent. Social media is probably the most powerful form of disseminating information, with breaking news and general information more accessible than ever before. Currently in Africa, social media is going through a series of tipping points. The Oscar Pistorius trial in South Africa was just one example of the media waking up to the power of Twitter in particular. But during the Kenya elections, especially we've seen the extent to which Twitter has been used not only as a rallying point, but also as a news and information source where around 2 million people in Kenya are using Facebook already. So that is a big impact. And I just want to point out that YouTube is important in particular because as more young people, and Kenya is quite a young country, we have 75% of the population is 35 and under, they're very engaged with technology and they love to access information via video and via YouTube. When Ishahidi created an online map on which people were able to plot political violence by simply uh, reporting incidents of violence and immediately it created a kind of heat map of violence during the elections and highlighted to the world what was happening. That in turn inspired a similar approach uh, during the earthquake in Haiti about the uh, human uh, suffering and the crisis happening in, in uh, that country. So it really started in Africa and now it's being uh, rolled out across numerous campaigns, events, incidents and the like.